Good to see so many bankers in one audience. Um, my name is Chris Ter. Uh, I'm the co-founder and CEO of TransferWise, the crowdsourced international payments company. With me, Tarvet. He was notoriously the first employee of Skype, where we borrowed a few of our ideas. Uh, he's driving the show today. So what we do is we move money on behalf of our customers from bank account to bank account, from country to country, from currency to currency. So what do you think that people care about when they think about international payments? Any ideas? Trust. I heard trust. That's one. We found that they also like speed. They want the money to arrive very quickly. And they want it to go there conveniently. And in the end, they don't want to pay much for that. Your, your average Jack and Joe on the street are quite cheap. So, what we're going to try today is a stunt. I need your help again for that. So, we're going to show how we're going to transfer money from Tarvet's UK account, from pounds, into my account in euros um, in Estonia. So, in order, and that's going to be a real life thing. So, I need a number from the audience from 1 to 100. 75. 75, awesome. So, 75 pounds. Thank you, Tarvet. So I'll show you that we're going to send 75 pounds from pounds into euros. As you can see here, this will save you about 20 pounds. And the reason it will save you 20, 20 pounds is that your bank in the UK will charge 15 pounds for the transfer and another 5 pounds for making currency exchange. We cut all that out and we're doing the transfer for just 1 pound. So I've entered 75 here. I click Make Payment. Now I have to fill in a few details about recipient. I've sent money to Christo before, so I can just choose him very simply from the drop-down. Here's Christo. We fill in his bank account. Done. So let's say payment is testing from Finnovate. So the one thing you notice here is that we always exchange money at the mid-market rate. We're going to tell later how that is possible, but we are still the only end-user service in the world that changes money from one currency to the other and always at the mid-market rate with a buy is it the same as the cell. So now I go to the next screen. I just review sending 75 pounds, receiving 87 euros from Talavet to Christo. I click Confirm. And now I can choose whether I want to send some money from a bank transfer or I can choose debit card. So I'm going to send money from my Barclays debit card. I will enter the number here now. So now we're doing Barclays verified by visa procedure. Success. It worked. So, so I'll quickly switch over to the internet bank to show that the account is empty right now. So right now, now I'm in, the, in Christos Internet Bank in Estonia. It's a bank called LHV. And we can see if we look at the uh, so account statement. And we look at today. There is nothing on the account right now. So hopefully by the time we finish the talk, the money will be here. We'll see. So while we're waiting for the money to arrive, um, you know, let me tell you, we, we tried the same with, uh, with the real Barclays Internet Banking. And we, we sent money to my account on Friday. Um, today, this hadn't arrived yet. So let's see if TransferWise is a little bit faster. So let, let me tell you how, how we all got started. Um, we built TransferWise out of frustration because when, when we both moved here about six, uh, six years ago as living expats in London, we realized that every time we send money abroad, the bank takes a hefty cut. So the, your, your average sort of retail bank in the UK takes something between 3.5% to 4.5% on the currency exchange. And then they take a fixed fee. So every thousand I send, send across to my Estonian account for my mortgage, I pay £50 for, for HSBC. We didn't like that. So we came up with a clever solution. So whenever I needed euros back at home um, and had excess pounds in, in, a, in, in, in the UK, I, I called Tarbet, my friend, who had his salary in euros but needed pounds in the UK to pay, pay rent. So. All we did is I put my pounds onto Tarvet's account here locally, and he put his euros into my account in Estonia. We paid nothing for the local transfer, and 
we take the mid-market rate from Reuters. So we realized in, our, in, our, in the first year that we had uh, saved a few thousand pounds in bank fees for, for ourselves, just, just for our normal living. And we realized that if it works for us, it should work for a wider audience. So we started TransferWise. And having, having received backing from the PayPal founders like Max Levchin, in the first two years, we have saved two million pounds in banking fees for our customers. And, uh, and this, is, this is what they like us for. They like us because we uh, save them money. We're quite convenient to use, as you saw today. And we're fast. So let's check whether we have anything arrived on my account yet. So let's refresh the screen. Let's click, click today. It came up. Ooh, and we see 87 euros. 87 euros arrived in a couple of minutes from UK to Estonia. I don't think any retail bank can do that for you here in the UK. So let's see what our customers say. Let's go back to the screen once again. We, uh, um, we had a couple of people write reviews on Trustpilot. Actually, there's more than 600 of them. And they have selected us to be the second most trusted money service in the UK. It's all because of speed. It's all because of cost. It's all because of convenience. We'd, we'd like to do to money transfer what, trans, uh, what Skype did to international calls, make it much better. If you want to join the revolution, our booth will be open for the rest of today. Thank you.